Welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to show you just real quickly, we've made these small hydroponic containers and um, they're basically like little mini Dutch buckets. We made a bunch of these, we used some larger containers to start our tomato plants and then once they got going really good we moved them into some bigger containers and I'll, I'll take you outside in a bit and show you those. They're uh, starting to grow really good. We're just doing different greens and lettuces. We're also using these for um, starting some seeds. Um, so it's turned out really well and you can see there we go we're using the master blend uh, mixture for our nutrient solution nice white roots on this and we're using a three inch net pot so all you would need is you need an empty container um, you need a black plastic bag three inch net pot we found this uh, we had in our tools it was a jig for doing uh, lock sets on doors I have a uh, two and seven eighths whole saw coming in, but it hasn't arrived yet. So basically, just about two and seven eighths. You want a circle, so we would just go ahead, use a sharpie, we trace that. Since we didn't have a hole saw, we just used a razor. We went ahead and used our razor and we cut the hole um, open for that. Dropped our three inch net pot in. And uh, what we did with the black plastic bag is we used some spray adhesive around it. The first couple, like this one, we didn't do that. We just used some duct tape. But later ones, they all have bigger plants and things, so I didn't want to bring those in right now. And then we just went ahead and took the plastic bag and we wrapped it around. And then we just used a little bit of duct tape there at the end just to hold on, the, you know, hold them together and make sure it held on there tight. So there you have it. Um, this works really well and we'll take you outside and show you uh, how we're growing our tomatoes in some bigger pots now. Okay, these are the larger containers that we made for transplanting our tomatoes into after they grew a little bit too big for those smaller containers. Again, this is a non-recirculating system. Uh, next year, we're going to probably go ahead and build a Dutch bucket system that has a recirculating feature to it. But this year, we just want to get these going and um, Again, since the tomatoes get so big and have such massive roots, we didn't want to put them back in the towers or the VGS or other systems since they have a tendency to crowd out other plants, shade other plants, as well as their system, root system growing down and clogging up and needed to be constantly trimmed. This way it's a lot easier to uh, focus on and keep our tomatoes separate. They can grow bigger roots, they can get bigger, they're not going to shade out the other plants, and um, they're a lot easier to maintain being in these separate systems. When we do want to top off our nutrients, all we need to do is just take our solution and just pour it through the top, through the net pot and the leak of stone. Keep in mind, since these are non-recirculating, the one thing you're going to want to do is keep an air gap at the top of your buckets so that the roots can get oxygen. Um, just like with your standard crack key systems, the roots are going to grow down to the bottom to suck up your nutrients and the air gap is needed at the top so the roots can get oxygen to oxygenate the plant. So there you have, that's what we went ahead and we're using these large containers and they'll hold about two gallons to about two and a half gallons of nutrient solution each. So there you have it, that's how we made our small containers and again I'm just using three inch net pots with the food container, the empty food containers and these are the containers we got with like sour cream, cottage cheese and other bulk foods that we got either you can get them at Sam's Club, Costco, uh, BJ's, uh, whatever is your local you know large bulk food store that you go to so again uh, just makes a nice easy quick project this is a good project too if you have uh, children you want to teach them how to start hydroponics something good for schools or scouts or whatever but again we're really impressed with this and we just top it off we make some gallon jugs of the uh, master blend solution and then we just pour it in and keep these topped off and uh, there you go these can just sit anywhere they can sit inside they can sit outside we have them kind of sitting all around so if you have any questions, go ahead and send us your questions. If you have any comments, feel free to comment. Like us if you want. Subscribe and follow us. And again, we thank you very much for joining us. And until next time, happy gardening.